Hello, Lunar Child, and welcome now to Monday. Well, today the moon is ruling the day, and that means our emotions are potentially ruling us. And on top of that, the moon will be in two signs during the course of the day. As we wake up, I'm predicting sunny and rather pensive for the Cancerians. That's because your emotions and intellect will be working side by side for nearly a third day in a row. So today's an excellent day to have an important conversation, a blog, to journal, to talk to your therapist. Then in the second half of the day, or once you wake up, for those of you in Europe, Asia, and Africa, the moon will be in Libra putting emotional focus on nesting and resting for the next 48 hours or more. So you'll probably want to go home and just pass out on the couch, to be honest with you, Cancer. You're going to be probably anywhere you're out of balance when it comes to taking care of yourself. That will rush into balance. You will be crabby, quote, quote, if you're not taking good care of yourself or something's out of the place, out of place in your home. It's also an excellent time to invest in your home. So if you have the energy, clean the bathroom and vacuum the house. You'll feel amazing. Now, zoom around the sun. This month, it's all about the weeds in your soul garden. We're now in chapter two of Sun and Gemini. Remember in chapter one, it was about identifying weeds. And if you don't know, weeds are the issues that wrap themselves around our lives and choke the life out of our flowers and fruit. So this is our codependency. This is our alcoholism. This is our bad habit of lying. Whatever it is that really sabotages you, that's what the universe is trying to get you to get rid of. And in chapter two, it's time to explore your options. So should you go to AA? Should you see a therapist? Should you break up with him or her? That sort of thing. And we'll be exploring that for a good eight or nine days. So don't rush any conclusions. Now some good news. Mercury has finally moved direct. Thank God is for that. It was a tough one. Mercury retrograding in Taurus it was asking cancers to look at one more time your circle of friends, your social status, your business card, all the things that relate to your relationship to the big picture of society. But now that Mercury is direct, there is no more hidden information and denial has been broken. So you can move forward with contracts, you can shake hands, you can kiss babies, you can tell one friend, hey, it's not working out. You can tell another friend, hey, let's have lunch. Then lastly, Neptune and Chiron are retrograde. So much energy crisscrossing right now. Now remember, Neptune is our intuitive ability. When it's direct, our intuition is focused outside ourselves. We're kind of feeling out what's good for us. Now for Cancers, it's all focused on trust intimacy. Who do I trust? Who do I not trust? Can I connect to this person or not? Is this person lying to me or not? Now that Neptune is retrograde, you're going to be very acutely intuitive as to how you're operating. So anytime you're not trustworthy, you're going to feel magnitudes of intuitive warning. Okay. Now on top of that, Jupiter is conjuncting Neptune. So there may be a tendency to overreact to the intuitive inf information you pick up on. Be careful not to. If the universe says a person's not trustworthy, don't jump to the point of thinking that they're a murderer. They're just not trustworthy. So use your logical mind to do the appropriate thing and move on. You're going to be very sensitive like this in this regard until November. All right, Cancer, that's all I have for the day. I'll see you folks tomorrow with more. Live, love, V. So God.